being fairly new to sewing, it is always a bit of a risk to think about purchasing fabrics online. I typically like to feel the texture of the fabric, really see the pattern up close and personal in person, instead of making that decision to spend money on fabrics that oftentimes you can't return. So what happened when I decided to take advantage of Mood Fabrics sale that they had a couple weeks ago and order fabric online? Stay tuned, I'm about to reveal what the fabrics actually looked like in person. Welcome to my first ever video that I've created on this channel, Dine In Creativity. I am a lover of all things creative expression, whether it's through creating paintings, using oil and acrylic paints, sewing, watercolors. But for the sake of this channel, I am really going to be focusing on my sewing journey as of late. I started sewing about a year ago and have fallen in love. I try to sew pretty much every other day and really have found it to be so therapeutic and relaxing. But let's go ahead and get into the video for today and what these different fabrics and textures actually felt and looked like in person. Stick around to the end and you'll get to see the latest piece that I've just sewn with cotton sateen fabric on a retro floral print from Mood Fabrics. Firstly, I did go on Mood's website. I am so attracted to bright colors right now and very retro inspired prints. And so when I saw this absolutely gorgeous print, I knew I had to have it. This is cotton sateen. They still have it available, but I am just so in love with all of the different colors and what I can potentially do with this piece of fabric. I got about two yards or two and a half yards, which is always kind of my standard go-to. I figure I can usually make a dress or a, a, a shirt, even a tunic out of at least two yards. What I'm thinking for that particular fabric is a mixture of this new look pattern, the top half as the top of the dress and this particular skirt bottom for the whole look. I'm gonna keep you posted as I make that. This is just a little side note here. I really feel as if Mood does a great job with making videos of different fabrics and really getting those up close high definition photos of them. When I saw this, it's a crepe de sheen, uh, I believe. And when I saw it, I knew I had to have it. I am so obsessed with it. Now, the thing about this one, as you can see, it is fairly see-through. I don't know if you can tell just by looking at it. It has an absolutely beautiful drape. So I'll show you here. recommend I'll bring it up even closer so you can really see it the floral motif I think is gorgeous my plan for this particular piece is to make a wrap dress this was just a pattern all of my patterns for the most part I get at my local Joann store sometimes I go in and they have those really great sales where sometimes the patterns are as low as 99 cents or three dollars and so I really try to bulk up and, and buy quite a few and so this is what I plan for this piece of fabric just a flowy drapey wrap dress I'm going to actually extend it to below my knees quite a bit because I just want the full picture of this fabric to be showcased. The next piece of fabric that I purchased from Mood Fabric Online was this absolutely gorgeous silky fabric. Now, I am not gonna lie to you, it was actually difficult to sew. The fabric is so slippery. But despite that, I really love how the top came out. I think it's going to be perfect for summer. There was a little bit of puckering here at the bottom, which of course the perfectionist in me never likes. But other than that, I really enjoy it. I went ahead and used bias tape to secure the edges. I think it gives a really nice clean look. And then just the flowy sleeves. But just go ahead and soak in this pastel, it reminds me of a sherbet ice cream cone. I cannot get enough of it. And the pattern that I used to create that particular top is the Simplicity S9477. 
I have made several different tops out of this fabric and it is a very, I'd say fairly easy pattern to use. One thing I've noticed with these patterns, really any of them, is that oftentimes, although they give those measurements, uh, they never have matched up for where I'm at. And so I, I need to start just cutting them out on a smaller size. But to be honest, I'm always so scared that it's gonna be cut too small. I'm always of the mindset that you can take a piece of, you can take a garment in, but it's hard to let it out unless you sew side panels in or things of that nature, which I've certainly done, but I would rather just take it in than have to go through all of that. But yes, this was the final product when it came to this one. Part of me wishes that I would have waited to make this video, but I could not wait. The second I got this fabric in, I just had to sew it up. It actually came in a panel, but it was an absolutely beautiful, very patterned floral motif that I used and draped all along the bodice and then strategically draped it at the bottom to make this cute little summer dress. Now, I don't know where you live, but where I live, spring is trying to come out, but it's not quite here yet, but I'm already sewing like it's the heat of summer and I just cannot wait to wear these cute dresses. This particular dress, it was interesting because the pattern originally called for a sheared back. Like I said, I'm newer to sewing and that really intimidated me. So rather than potentially ruin this absolutely gorgeous cotton sateen fabric, I decided instead to take the fabric in because as you probably know, when you shear fabric, it makes it so much smaller and stretchier. I had to take in and instead I created what I think are really pretty sewn in pleats, but then a couple others just to bring it in a little bit. This one has just a teeny bit of alteration that I need to finish doing here on the back, but the fabric is really the showcase here. And that is what I am so excited about. I loved it, but I believe that they still have this fabric left. So you should go check it out. I'm a glutton for punishment. And I also fell in love with this drapey tie dyed, light blue fabric. I find it to be absolutely gorgeous. Again, it is slightly see-through. So I am going to also make a wrap dress in this fabric. So what I'll have to do is either wear a slip with it or just sew a, a lining underneath because I certainly don't want it to be fully see-through, but I am just so excited to use it. I went ahead because I am all about the silky shirt. The older that I get, the more forgiving I realize these flowy tops are and just how comfortable and breathable and they just feel light and, and effortless. You just throw it on and go. I also got this Crepe de Chine fabric, which I thought was so cute. And I plan to make a really cute just flowy silk top with it. I'm not quite sure. I have quite a bit of patterns. I'm looking over here because all of my patterns are in this direction, but I definitely am going to use it again, like I said, for a beautiful summer flowy blouse, probably nothing with buttons, just something to throw on that's loose and flowy sleeves, something of that nature, but absolutely gorgeous. I was so impressed with the quality of this fabric. And then of course, when I saw this, it's a little bit out there, but I love it. I had to have it. It's called their festival print. And I don't know if you can fully see it, but it's so fun. I can't wait to sew with it. It's cotton canvas, which I feel is a dream to work with. It is thick enough so that it stays together. It's not slipping and sliding all over the place. It doesn't require, you know, a special needle. I mean, you can use your standard sewing needle and it really is so well designed to just get your pattern drafted and then put it all together. And what I plan to use this cotton canvas festival print fabric for is, it's gonna go this way, is this pattern by New Look. Um, I've already made one other dress with it 
and really enjoyed how it turned out. But I think when it comes to this fabric, because it is a loud print, I want to make a very simple garment that again, showcases the beauty of the fabric and the colors and the pattern. So I look forward to making a future video on how this particular dress turns out. Last but not least, I also found this very cute cotton sateen print. I am so into the retro floral patterns these days. I think they are so fun with bright colored sandals or really cute flats for day or even evening. This is actually my first time getting cotton sateen fabric and sewing on it and it is also a dream to work with. It's not a heavyweight fabric, it's a midweight fabric, but the way that it sews is just gorgeous. It really is a, a, an easy sew with cotton sateen. And so the final reveal of this cute little summer dress is here. So let me go ahead and change and put this on and show it to you, talk you through how it went sewing it and all that good stuff. Hang on. This is the dress. As you can see, there were some construction issues. Of course, again, I've already shared this, but I'm always a little bit nervous to cut out a pattern that's going to be too small. And so according to the size chart, I'm a size 14 in New Look and Simplicity and McCall's patterns, yet every single time without fail, I end up having to take it in by about four or five inches. And so I need to just learn that it's okay if I've already experimented on so many different patterns, it's okay for me to cut the smaller size, but I just get nervous because I don't want it to not fit. And then I just don't wanna be left with a garment that's way too small for me to be able to wear. Cause that's the whole uh, reason why I like to sew is to make my own clothes. So as you can see, I gathered and made a couple little details here. This is slightly odd. And what this is, is the actual lining of this dress. I think that it creates a little bit too much bulk across the top, but to be honest, I might leave it. But then in the next iteration of this dress that I make, then I would take it out and do something different. I'm gonna see, I'm gonna live with this for a little bit and see how I feel. It has pockets, which I thought was such a great addition. I mean, every summer dress with pockets, you know how you love that. And then it just has a tiny zip back. As I shared, the fabric itself was glorious to work with and to sew with. It was very easy to create some a structured garment and then also sew in pleats, which really I did for the sake of making the actual dress smaller. But certainly it was fun to make. Again, this was new look pattern 6446. So overall, the process of purchasing fabrics online first, before ever touching them or seeing them in purpose, in purpose, in person, went really well for me. And I am really of the mindset that when I buy fabric, I do not like to waste anything. So I'll find something that I can make with it. But honestly, I thought Mood Fabrics had the best fabric selection. It arrived pretty quickly and I just could not wait to start sewing with it. I'm gonna show you how the festival dress ends up turning out and I cannot wait to have this new channel. And so I hope that you'll feel free to join me. Feel free to leave in the comments below, what was your favorite pattern that you saw? Any that stood out to you that you think would be a good addition to your closet. Thank you so much for watching and happy creating.